Spoilers. There we go. I think it's working. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not right. That's me. Hang on. Let's see if I can get a better angle on that. Probably not. Nope, that's made things worse. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, see, I made... I don't know if... Can anyone hear me? Um, I don't know if anyone can hear me. I mean, this is live now, I guess. Um, okay, I'm going to tweet this to say that it's it's all going, it's all happening. Um, let's have a look. Where is it? Why is this not... Oh. See, Matt loves all this. I hate all this stuff. Like, just trying to do all these things. It's just really irritating. Oh. I don't know if what's working. I don't know if... Why is this not... Twi I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Let's just, um... Right, okay, so Scientologists can hear me. Look, I even got, you see, look, on the board behind me, I've even got a sign that says what this is. Let's see, it says James Plays Deadly Premonition Episode 2. And that was with chalk. Uh, it's my daughter's uh, chalkboard thing that we have on the wall. And I thought I could have that on the background so that people would know what was going on. But unfortunately, the camera's not very good and uh, yeah, it doesn't work so well. So I think we'll just put it back there. Um, that works. Okay. Now, uh, where should we go? Okay, I'm gonna get sat down here. Ah, let's see what we've got here and see if this actually works. Uh, there we go. Right. I want to avoid all these um, the screens and stuff because it's not it's not very good. There we go. And I think maybe I'm just gonna start because. Yeah, it is, yes, yeah, the R-Play Technical Support Helpline. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm wearing my uh, Computer Game Show t-shirt as well. I thought people would appreciate that. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, David always says, you know, you never wear it, you know, like, what's your problem with it? I haven't got a problem with it. I just happened to be wearing it today um, underneath the jumper, and then I got hot, and I thought I'd better take it off. And, um, yeah, so I ended up with that. So, yeah, also, yeah, on brand. Like, it's very on brand. You know, this is... This is Matt. You'd say me sell out. This is what you wanted. You told me that you know that you wanted it to be all like this, and now you're having a go. Pathetic. So I don't know what you want. You know, it's just yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, let's um, let's get back to this, and uh, yeah, we can see. I mean, I'm planning. I think today what I'm going to I'm planning to do. I'm planning to go for about an hour and a half, maybe. Hopefully, depending on how it works out. Um, I've also got I've got some alcohol. Um, it's something I was given for Christmas. I don't know if it's any good or not. It's called Orbit. I think it's one of those like, I don't know what it is. It's just, just weird. Um, yeah, so, hours played, 22, that can't be right. It felt like it. There must be, must be 22 minutes. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, never mind. Let's just, uh, let's just resume. Episode one, chapter, is this right? Would you like to re, I don't want to restart. What do I do? What do I do? Resume from the last save point. Okay, I'll do that. 
but hopefully that's not going to cause me problems. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. Oh, I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? Oh, that doesn't smell good. My coffee warned me about it. All bit gooseberry. Doesn't look good. It smells terrible. I'm going to have to let that just wait for a second before we get into this. All right. Okay, so I've done the saving. Let's, uh, let's, oh, I've forgotten the controls. All right, here we go. Let's go. No, that's not, no, that's not it. How do you run? I've forgotten. That's it, that's it. There's Polly. Hello, Polly. Oh, hi. Chat. <sighs> oh, yeah, you can speak up for me. Okay. Okay. Sales girl. Yeah. Okay, that was informative. Um, should I buy something? Let's see if I can buy something. Um, what have we got? Um, buy coffee. Um, I'm all right. Pulse rate. We got cigarettes. Um, yeah, let's go for some cigarettes. Oh, I can't have any more of that. That's fine. Um, these crackers. Sugar donut, cheddar cheese. What do I need bait for? Okay, maybe I need that. It's probably worth getting that because maybe I'm going to do some fishing later. And if possible, I want to avoid having to come back here. Uh, what else we got? Fishing rod, so yeah, I probably should buy that. I don't know what that's for. We'll soon find out. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's the weird thing. I don't know why it said 22 hours. It's just very odd. Um, what else we got? Uh, let's get some cheddar as well. I like a bit of cheddar. It's, um, yeah, it's not too bad. And a sugar donut. Why not? You never know when you might need these things. It's very possible. Right, I'm going in. That is foul. Right. Oh, right, let's finish that. Oh. Right, what's Polly got to say? Uh, no, I don't want to buy anything, I just wanted to check. I pressed the wrong button. Alright, okay, let's just, let's just get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I did, I did mess up once, that's true. $335 a day. No, that's not too bad. Right, okay. Let's move on. See, I needn't have saved on the uh, the other thing. I could have just waited for this bit. Oh, it's really bitter. The music's back. Police car. Nine to five and left the key. Andy. Don't be late. Well, so he's given me nine to five. It's not bad. For preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I'm presuming this whole Zach thing is going to get explained at some point. It's not like another Iden situation, I'm hoping. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. I had the same thought. This town has what, what the country needs. Values. Or, or Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Seeing as there's also been a murder or whatever here. Oh no, I've got to drive. Okay. Um, that's far too many. This is more controls than it is driving a regular car. Um, oh, that's too many things. All right, well, let's just see what happens. I've got the master key. And a flare. Right. I've got 
to get to the sheriff's office then. Right, okay. This is... Oh, that's the headlights. Where's that there? Where's that going to come from? Oh, sorry. I think I went the wrong way. Where does I go? The visual quality is pretty bad. Was oh, it this way? Yeah. Well, that okay. visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual oh, appliances were coming out back then. I prefer the we do I prefer the inside when you get the dark. We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video this store right banter spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some. Am I going the right way? Back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Kings. 1978. Produced, directed, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, oh. and the original was re released in 95. The 87 <laughs> minute theatrical release bumped up. I've got to say, I'm enjoying this conversation. That was around. Boost on this, this car's quite slow. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet for these. Oh, it's the windscreen wipers. Let's do that. So how do I turn them off? Not like that. How do I turn them? There we go. Oh, I've done signals, but I'm not, not correct. Okay. Okay, Man, this is not at all what I was expecting the game to be like. Wee, sorry dude. See you there. There's the police station, I've made it. Wee. Oops. There we go. Oh, made it. Oh, pretty good skills there I think. Not bad. Yeah, the, music's, the music is pretty good. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior. <laughs> it's the original out music again. I'm going to start walking into buildings and standing like that. Okay, let's move on. Uh, uh, okay. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the Sheriff's Assistant. Okay. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent, Agent <laughs> they York. Didn't I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just, well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. Fair enough. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright, Especially in this town with values girl. as well. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room. But I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. Well, let me of know course when you have. Ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Or a video game. Right. So we've got a telephone, so presumably I could save. Don't need to do that. I already did a pretty bang up job of getting here. 
Uh, can't go in the locker room. Uh, can I talk to the... Wee. Just not expecting the controls to work in this way. Let's observe. It's very observant. This way, yeah. Hey there, Thomas. No, I just got here. So I'm going to have to find a key, aren't I? It's inevitable. Why was it a turn? What do these do? Whee, what happened there? Okay. Let's try this one. Is this like an evidence vault or something? There's nothing there. Let's try this one. Okay. Can't do anything with him. That's fine. So I'm looking for a key now, presumably, to get Thomas out of trouble. He seems like a nice lad, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, where do I go? Why has that got like a shaving thing on it? Is that where I've got to go? This is where it would be really helpful if on Xbox they still had chat like on the side so I could see what was going on because I'm hoping some people might be able to give me some help. Um, looking for a key. Observe him. No. Ugh. Can't go to the bathroom. That is disappointing. Uh, can I get in there? Oh, go in here. Right, what have we got? Okay. Paid for... Don't open, why? Why is there a... Mm, okay, stupid question. Oh, who's this? Hello. Hi. I'm not getting anything out of Thomas. He lost the key, yeah. Can we have another Hi. chat? Well, you could help me with the key. There's no point in observing people because he just says, oh, this person's nothing to do with the investigation. Yeah, there we go. No keys there. All right, let's go through there. Also, we have guns up there. Is that a, mi oh, it's a mirror? Oh, 
What's up, Zach? Look at this. Oh, now this is something special. Trumpet again? It's the epitome of the old Frontier Sheriff's Office. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. It's just Why amazing. would you? <laughs> Still no key though. Oh, it's George. Oh, who's this? Hey, George. Can we have a chat? Why does it say number four? And then George. Let's go and have a chat with George. <laughs> George, do you work out every day? <laughs> of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise <laughs> keeps me healthy. Where did that come a from? Since I started in oh high dear. Now that's impressive. <laughs> I was not Remind expecting that at all. Exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. That I'll keep an old. eye out for him. Oh, is this like a side mission? Okay. What about, uh, what about the key? Okay, so lost Arnold. Lost his beloved Arnold. Okay. About the uh, okay, don't bother me unless you have something really important. Well, I do. Where's the key? You just continue pumping iron. All right, let's keep going. Does anyone have any idea where the key is? Not that I can see the chat. Right, let's um, let's have a look on something. Here. Going here? No. Oh, what's this room? Locker room. Oh, nice, I can change my clothes. Okay. Uh, what should we go for? Um, okay, I'm going with that one. Looks pretty sharp. Then we've got a toolbox. No, I don't need to do that at the moment. Oh, brilliant. Found the keys. Okay. The keys have been found. That's a relief. And somebody's really into, like, pumping iron. What's that on there? I can't get around the side. What's this? Let's open this. Well, I've got a really snazzy suit now. Must be Arnold or uh, or the police chief. I, I get, I'd guess. Right, there's nothing else in it. Let's go and catch up with my mate Tom. See what he's up to. Anything in the storage? Is there like a whole ton of these? I'm glad I did this now, because you know what would have happened? I'd have gone out there and he'd have been all like, no, not those squirrel keys, these squirrel keys. I can't get out the fire exit. What's down here? Oh, horrible. 
controls. I'm going prepared with these keys. I'm not having that one of those situations. It's not very secure. What's behind me? Is there anything over there? Yeah. I'm gonna have a chat. Seems I can't. Ooh. So what happens if I have a sleep in a cell? <sighs> I'll have to give it a go. Um, let's go for the full 12 hours, I think, sleep in that cell. He's bound to feel better when he wakes Agent up. Agent Morgan, it's time to close the office. <laughs> Can you view the files tomorrow? I see. Maybe. So that's how things work around here. We haven't even found the key to the file cabinet yet. <laughs> I've found two keys, tomorrow. actually. I think you'll find. This town has its own way of doing things, and you need to respect that. Regular business hours. Okay. Even during a homicide investigation. Insane. But impressive. Zach, let's call it a day. We all have to abide by the rules. That's what they're there for. Well, plus we did the murder, didn't we? Well then, Zach, looks like we've got some time to kill. I'll go somewhere and have a sleep. What was that noise? That was strange. Alright. Where's my car? What's that noise? Oh, hang on, there's Emily. Let's have a chat. Maybe she'll scout for a drink. Whew. Yeah, we've already done that. Come on. That's disappointing. Okay. I'm expecting, so that's going to come into play later, I'd imagine. That looks horrible. That doesn't look a turkey sandwich at all. Alright, let's get down. Hey, nice car, Thomas. Hello. Go on, let's have one more try with Emily. Oh. I'm getting the brush off. She's just repeating what she already said. I got I'll take the hint. George? Huh? No sign of Arnold so far. <laughs> I just had a sleep in the cell, that's all. Right, let's get in my car. I'm gonna go back to the hotel. Oh, sorry, Emily. We sorry. Let's go. All right, where else? Oh, there's a sandwich thing over there. Is that a Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Well, I just, I just buy him here. I was hoping it would like full on restaurant thing. All 
Right, so it seems I can go in around the other. Why am I looking through windows like that? That's just odd. Right, let's go this way. In fact, let's have a look at the chat. See where they're going here. Right. Hmm. So what can I do in here? Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. Suspect? Why is she a suspect? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. Hey, Olivia. Nick's the arsehole will just cut chop me out of his Olivia. kitchen, right? Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that Sweet. famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Huh? That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? Of course. She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. Right, Zach? Um, sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh. Okay. Creepy. So, Olivia. Do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here no, with she's us. Dead. So happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I... We were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. Well, it is a small town. If you remember anything else, let me know. Okay. What else we got here? Maybe it'll be useful. What's this? You don't need to buy the stuff, it's just lying around on the floor. Right, let's leave, because it seems there's nothing interesting in the diner. I feel a bit bad because I don't feel like I've achieved anything so far. I mean, to fair, I did go and sleep in a cell for 12 hours. But I just wanted to see what would happen. Where's my car? Here we are. Is there, like, how do I get to a map on this? Not like that. How do I get... Is that the map? Right, okay. Let's see what we can get. Can I set, like, a thing? Where's the hotel? Is that the hotel? I'm presuming it is. Right, so I just need to go straight down this road. No. Well, hang on, it's telling me to go the other way. Let's... okay. Too fast, too fast! Right. What happens now?
It's locked, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Office it's closed. It says 0900 to 1700 here. We'll have to. We've already established time. that. So I've already gone to the diner. That was a waste of time. Um. Back to the other place, I guess. Well, hang on. Is there like a? I thought I saw like a bar or something. That's the house. Okay, that's her suspect's house. Uh, what else we got here? We got. I don't know what that is. Um, some more stuff over. This is huge. This map. It's bigger than I was expecting. Can I set waypoints? Because it seems I can't. Oh, I don't know where to go. I'm really confused. Right, I'm assuming that that's the... Oh, I know that, I know. Right, so how do I get there? If I go... Right, let's just drive out of here and see what happens. But not that way. Hang on, wait a minute. Sorry, sorry. What's the checkered flag for? Is that for like races or something? I don't really feel like racing right now. There's a bar. Let's get up this bar. Oh, it's closed! It's night time! Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Right now, I reckon Deadly if I go up here and then turn right, I can get back on the road. Go back, back to in my 83, hotel. Directed by Douglas right? McKenna. And I can't check right. that. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth. I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't well, have it for some reason. Right, so. They said the staff correct. for the sequel was totally different from the original. This way, yeah. I wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, sir. Sounds like the movie Tremors. Just that one was back in 89. Yeah. Directed by Ron Underwood. And that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. And there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one. I'm pretty pleased, actually, that I managed to figure that out. Seems there's no GPS it appears. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get out. Does this mean I'm gonna have to go through the whole breakfast thing all over again as well? Zach, is there something nothing here that you want today. to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you know, want to act up, on a lunch, then I'm with you. Right, where's my bedroom? Is it upstairs? I don't remember. Nope. What? What? Okay, here we go. Oop. What's up here? There's a medal. That was worth it. Backwards. There we go. I don't know where to go. Oh, what's Polly I don't want to buy anything. I just want to go to bed. But I don't know where to go. Is it one of these rooms? Is it this room? It's not this room. This is a bar with no one in it. Oh, wait a minute, this is it, isn't it? Because it's got that... It's got the shaver thing on it. Right, okay, let's go to bed. <sighs> now, the problem is, is I don't know what the time is. Okay, okay, so it's 20 past 5. Okay, let's go for another 12 hours. That should give me enough time to get up and then do the mm -hmm. whole... Go back to the police station thing. Yeah. 
Right, yeah, let's go and eat something. Maybe the, oh, I doubt the restaurant's gonna be open. Yeah, wait a minute, it's too early, isn't it? It's still like five in the morning. <sighs> let's try and go back to sleep for a bit longer. Let's do another three hours. That should be long enough. Yeah. Then I can go down to that buffet again. But I, I really need to eat, because I mean, look at it, he's starving. Polly's in there, so presumably she's done the massive buffet again. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, go for it. So, my lucky number is three today. The first case I worked after joining the FBI had three victims. I don't want to do that again. I need some food, don't I? Can't eat any of this stuff. Even though I've got to say, she's done a lovely spread. It zooms in too far. Oh, I've got some cheese. I've got to eat some cheese. Uh, what have I got that can give me? Oh, I just eat one of those. I can't eat that, can I? Oh, it's not too bad. I'm moderately not hungry now. Right, let's get back to the police station. That's the plan. Oh, is it raining outside? I just saw lightning. Exciting. Oh, maybe I can buy some uh, buy some snacks as well. That's a good idea. It's like Red Dead Redemption, this. Right, uh, let's buy some more. Finish and get to the police station and see if I can actually achieve something. Thomas's biscuits. Oh, look, it's raining. Where's he gone? Where's my car gone? Where is my car? There's a medal over there. Why does the sheriff just park loads of cars in this hotel? There we go. Now back to the uh, back to the police station. I'll be there by nine at this rate. This is um, this is quite atmospheric actually. I like it, this. I do wish the car had like nitrous or something like that because it is a bit slow. Tremors. There we go. And Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Tremors. Ward? Good. Say Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 85, I think. Turned by Guy Hamilton. Because Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007. But it had no sequels. Do you remember the Marshall Box? Tremors. Tremors, dude. using no weapons at all. Remo's master Chun ran across water. And he loved soap operas. Man, that's a good character. He was played by Joel Gray, the best supporting actor in Cabaret. 
No, it's still closed. Well, it so much makeup on, you couldn't tell. Have a sneaky drink before we start at work. Right. Three. I wasn't paying attention. Wasn't paying attention. Oh. I've got to say the handling in this is not is not great. It's honestly juiced is a lot better like handling wise. I thought anyway. Zach, the office is closed. Oh. It says 0900 oh, yeah, 1700 here. We'll have to come back another time. We'll just wait here. Stand around in the rain. What's the time now? Oh, here they come. And the George. Hey Emily. Put a Hi. coat on. Right, what is okay, it's still eight thirty, I'm just gonna So what we're we gonna do? We're just gonna stand around outside until it opens. That's absurd. But how does she get in? not fair. If I try and go in this, we don't know it's closed. Zach, the office is closed. It says 0900 to 1700 here. All right, well, we'll come back in that case, time. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to have to wait here, aren't I, until it opens. What's the time? It's uh, 8.31. Let's have a look at the chat while, we'll, uh, while I'm waiting for the time to, uh, time to eventually go. Right. The crackers did cost thirty-five dollars. That's true. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that okay, Scientologist. That doesn't make sense. You're saying she's staff, so she's allowed in. That's true. But I'm also staff. I'm FBI. Why aren't I allowed in? Makes no sense. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, the time's going so slowly. It's like 8.34. What can I do? Oh, just joy around, joyride around a bit for a bit. Pub's not open. Assuming that opens at nine. Oh, like everywhere else. Oh, it's a good point. Not fun to drive. Oh. I should have been late for work. This was a big mistake. Ah. You have to like break really early before it's uh, before you get anywhere. Nope, still closed. Although, what's that up here? Let's go and have a look. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file yes, at the sheriff's idea. office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. A record player, okay. Why would they leave a record player at the top of a fire escape in the rain? What time's the bar open? Brilliant. Oh, still 20 minutes to go. Why is this so slow?
can I make the time... Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can make time go more quickly, can't I, if I smoke? From what I remember. Let's have a look. Do that. Cigarettes. Is it? There we go, right. I think you forget that time is going by. Okay, well it's... Zach, it's past nine. Brilliant. Let's head over to the sheriff's okay. office. Okay, I figured it out. I failed to see the files. Let's, uh... And I'm hoping to see some progress today. Yeah, I'm hoping to see some progress today as well. Seeing as this has just been a complete write-off, I've done nothing. So no, okay, so I just need to smoke cigarettes whenever I want to pass time. I mean, like in Shenmue you have to do that as well, but at least you can go and play Lucky Hit or whatever. Hey, Thomas. That's the same as yesterday. Hey again, Thomas. I'm hoping to see Anna's file today. Uh, yep. well, I still haven't found that key. Why don't you take a look two. around the office while you wait? Can't we break the lock open? I'm sorry. I'm not authorized to do that. Okay. Well, just let me know as soon as I can see it. Okay. I get it now, Zach. He wants us to help him look for this key. Country folk are yes. too shy sometimes. I wish he'd just come out and ask. Right, I've got a key. Shall I just chance it with this one and see if it's going to be the right one? I did. I found a bunch of keys. A point. Was it the long-tailed one or was it the short-tailed? Oh, no, I don't know. You found the key. Yeah. I hope so. Please with this one. Please with this one. Uh, no. This is a sugar glider. Sorry. Oh. For fuck the sugar glider is a right, small okay. gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer, column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, can you oh, tell these things apart? apart? Right, what else we got? Oh, let's try this one, the pointy one. You found the key! I think so. Yes, I it? found a key, not the key. Maybe. Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This oh. isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. Oh. It's closer to a land-based <laughs> squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel. I thought I was so sure that that would have been southern it. Flying squirrel, and has a standing tail, while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. All right, all right, all right. Let's. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. <sighs> right. Okay. So it wasn't either of those. I'm going to try going back downstairs again. But this time I'm not going to go and sleep in the uh, in the cellar. Not in the cellar. In the prison cell, rather. This way. Oh, no, as soon as I get on the stairs, it all goes weird. Right, there we go. Got a key on it. Oh. I've got nothing. Okay. Come on, there's got to be a key around here somewhere. Why have they got, like, shooting range where the prisoners are? Okay, I've got another squirrel key. Let's 
Okay, I can't see any more squirrel keys down here. Yeah, but move it where and why? Because I can't see any more squirrel... Uh, I can't see any more squirrel keys. Let's open here and see if I can find one another one. Falling for the old sleeping trick again. Oh, I was getting in trouble. you leave a key in the cell? Right, okay, that's another two keys I've got. Surely that must be all of them. Not another one in there, and we can't get... Right, okay, let's just... Let's go back. He's no help. Oh, I feel bad because just like literally nothing has happened in this episode at all. All I've done is I've just went to sleep for 12 hours in a prison cell and drove around in my car. Oh, and then got stuck on the controls again. It's the tank controls. Surely it's got to be this one of these kids. Oh, hello, Emily. How's you? Hi. Oh, we've already had this conversation. I don't want to go through this again. Okay, okay. Whew. Oh, this is making me sleepy. Come on. Let's have a chat with Thomas again. See which one of these keys it isn't. Yes, I found the key. All right, let's go for the that one you this found time. The key. I hope AK, this is the yes. right one. I bet it's not. If it's not either of these, then uh, I don't you've know. You found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? Oh, fuck. This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually they didn't quite a purpose, popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Right, let's try that. Look, if it's not this one, I'm going to need help because I don't know what I'm doing. You found the key. I found, yes, That's but we've right been one. through this many times. Please yes. be the key, please a be the key. Oh, finally. All right, okay, Thank now we can so make some much. progress. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> well, Zach, we just got here. Uh, We've cracked a big case already. Oh, stop saluting me. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, yep. she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the a &G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Learning Anna's nothing about the in an accident in a lumber mill when she Didn't was a child. That. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's okay. a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Put me in, then. What's he doing? He's having a seizure. 
city folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted oh, this. Oh, go. This is all the Twin Peaks stuff. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... Oh, I, these are Thomas's oh, special biscuits. I... I baked them myself. Hmm. That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, Lovely. you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. <laughs> what was that? The whole holding it up like that? Oh well, I've actually achieved something. I mean, it's taken me a long time, um, but I've achieved something. It's not bad. Okay. So I'm going to the hospital now to check out a dead body. Oh, this is loading. I'm gonna get some more drink. Looks like I can. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Right. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George. This is another one I got for Christmas, which. Um, can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Day. Never had this before either. Which so is another good reason for me to drive. Better than the last one, which I need to learn my way around town. <sighs> Better. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. This is bad. Ugh. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. Inappropriate there, but I will not. Right. Okay. What have I got to do then? I've got to get to the hospital. Oh, it's started raining. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you? We'll Is mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Mm. Yep. Ooh, what cool well, then, Agent on. York, let's get going. Sure, sounds good. Right, so where do I go? Oh, let's have a look at the map. I have... Where is it? Wrong way. Where is the place? Is that bit over here? Yep, okay, right. I wish I could just put a waypoint, it would make this much easier. I forgot what games used to be like this. Right, so if I go up there, go down January way, and then go down there, that should be fine. Okay, so. Um, okay, so down the end of the street, turn left. Okay. This is what it's going to be like after Brexit when they switch off the GPS. I'm not looking forward to that because I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of the old uh, using uh, GPS to get places. Uh, where am I now? Hang on. Let's check. Right, I need to turn. What? Hang on, wait a minute. Oh, it rotates. It rotates. Right, hang on, hang on. I need to breathe. Not like that. Okay, wrong way. Down here and then to the left. Oof, okay. Oh, right. I think I'm on the right street now. Let's check. Yeah, and then turn left. 
right, yeah. I've got it, I've got it. Oh, I've got gotcha. you. I can't help notice. Most of the time, yes. Do you get lonely flying all over the country alone? I'm just saying, I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women. Wait, wait. Have I gone down the right road? Scars on your face. Just no, like yours. Wrong. Right. George, is this an interrogation? I see for a seasoned professional. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by a uh, problematic woman. Well, she got you good. Terrible good. It'll fade away. And nobody will notice it in a week. In a week? Right, I think this is the right way. So, Emily, tell me. Is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it's small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to all kinds of problems. Fights, runaways, stray pets. You're too fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. That's what I consider to be my duty as a sheriff. That, that sounds rather really fascist. The monarch in all his glory. It makes me glad that I wasn't born here. Did you say something? Morgan? No, nothing. Morgan was just reflecting on a little homicide. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. Okay, which right now is good. Okay. Right, okay. Exactly. Let's have a look. At... Let's continue our chat later. Let's have a look and see what the autopsy is. Okay, I don't know if this is right. For some reason, this is like I'm disconnected from the slide, but I don't know if the stream is still working. I'm sure. Um. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Okay, and is the stream working? That's why this case is our problem. That's my question. There really isn't any need for me to get too involved. Because I don't know if it is or not. Am I still good? Is it working yet? Yeah, working? Not working? Hello, right, Sheriff. okay, that's good. Oh, the, oh my goodness. Okay. Hey, Fiona. <laughs> that was not... Hi, there, okay, Fiona. Either. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. Okay. A computer room? In a hospital? Yeah. Nice we'll to meet computers. you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees yeah. share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And how did you know I'm called York? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. <laughs> Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? Okay. You haven't heard of this yet? It's a nope. recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small, traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness oh, to dear. everyone in town. But everyone Dead and all. He Don't shouldn't worry. just be like, are you shitting me? Books are written to entertain. It's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York.
Right, so what do I do now? Do I have another chat? Not really up for chatting with her. Okay. Hey, Emily. How's it going? Okay. So I've got to go and talk to a doctor or whatever, yeah? That's not a door. Neither is that. Oh. Okay. Let's keep going. So she said that he was in a computer room because they had a computer that everyone shares. the computer room. Please tell me there's just one computer in there. For the whole we hospital. Couldn't find him. There's two. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. And a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Oh, it's Seth, not a simple puzzle. Challenge. You can do this, right? No, I can't. I hate puzzles like this. I don't want to do this. This is the kind of stuff that I hate. I absolutely hate things like this in games. Ah. Uh. Nope, that was wrong. I tried to do the whole thing, but yeah, it's not going to work. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I hate puzzles. I absolutely hate puzzles like this. Uh, well, it's, look, it says king passes rook. So if I... Okay, there's the king. Then the rook is... Hang on, is the Rook the Horse? I've forgotten. Is the Rook the Horse? Can someone tell me? Go on, what is it? I can't remember if it's the... I'm sure it's that. <laughs> Seriously, Scientologists, it's been, like, a long, long time since I played any of this. I just hate puzzles like this. Ah. <sighs> That's that's a bit strong, Scientologists. It's really a bit strong. I just haven't played chess for a long time. Uh, I mean, we're going to be here all night because I absolutely hate puzzles, like in games. This is why I don't play games with puzzles in that much because I just find them tedious. Uh, anyway... Oh, right, okay. Right, okay. Is it, why would it not be that? No, that's not that. It can't be that, is it? Because it's... I'm just following the sequence and it's not right, obviously. Oh, Zach, I'm not Googling it. I was Googling what the I other thing was. <laughs> oh, I just don't... I hate doing things like this. Right, let's have a chat with George, see what he thinks.
Yeah, she's not. Ugh. Right, well, let's have a look around the room then. We've got the king, the queen. The, yeah, we know all this. We've got the picture. We've got the rook. We know all this. Where does the knight fit in, though? Because in the thing, it doesn't say anything about a knight in the puzzle. Oh, right, look. King passes rook. So that's the king. There's the rook. And there's the bishop. There's the pawn. And there's the queen. But then where does the, um, the knight fit in? No, nope. I'll... Oh. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Right, okay, so the king uh, passes the rook, meets the bishop, and the knight takes the pawn to the queen. I'm an idiot. Why on earth did I not do that? The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Oh, dear. Another code? I'm an idiot. But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. It was, to be fair, Scientology, no it was an easy the puzzle. Appeared it was just, I got stressed. It's telling us where for to no use reason. It. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is oh. below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. Right, the car key for the underground floor. Let's go down there and see what we can find. Oh dear. <laughs> it was a rookie mistake. <laughs> it's a good one. Right, okay, let's see what we can find. So it is downstairs, it's just... Uh... Right, I think we found where we've got to get to. Turn it on. door that's painted on the wall. Mm. Let's buy some more crackers. It what? Oh, okay. Lollipop? I probably should eat some food actually because I'm a bit uh, he's looking a bit hungry. another medal there. Certainly wouldn't have got one for solving that incredibly easy problem. Oh, embarrassing. There 
There we go. No longer hungry. Right, let's have a look at this dead body. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson. Go on, flash your badge. Hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. <laughs> Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. <laughs> that that could mean anything. By the way, did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if <sighs> our FBI agent could handle the task. I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. Ooh. It's true, I'm, I'm not cut out to be an FBI agent at all. From the onset couldn't, of couldn't solve a simple the chest puzzle. Of the muscles. The you know, it's not a chest puzzle, it's just a word puzzle. 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in the right hand. Her skull is also what? fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Probably. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The oh, direct that. cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Which means she was cut up while she was still alive. Ooh. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. How does he know that? The perpetrator cut out Hannah's tongue. Ah, oh, that's why. I believe okay. she was drugged first to phase her consciousness and then the killer killed her. Back with the trolley the killer music again. most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. Cut so he has to do this. Suggests a very lonely religion. Either that or a true hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. He watched as the blood pumped from her body, as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 with much less. Usher, please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profile. Oh, that's is quite my useful, job. isn't it? 
Doing a good job. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Oh, Directed we're gonna get John a Landis, biography now. <laughs> so the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? <laughs> what oh. more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. I bet he does. What am I looking at? There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's think there on our hand. Even that white lip. Oh, there we go. There we go. Painted her toenails. Looks like it anyway. In there. Where are, well, I can't see, can I? I don't really want to. What happened? From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zack, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> There's one other thing. Her oh. tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, I mean, but I what am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? <laughs> I'm very passionate, yes, especially when it comes to women, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. Mm. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Uh -huh. Ah, the perpetrator bit off Anna's tongue. Oh. Uh. We'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. We need to go and find someone who likes biting tongues off. sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. quite a lot of people then. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. 
George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? Oh, I just put a shit in. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Oh. Okay, so I'd quite like to save now, to be honest. And uh, I've kind of had enough. Oh, but is this going to make me go through some sort of shooting bit? Zach, they're here. Oh, I don't want to do this. In fact, I'm going to save, and we're going to stop here because I can't do this any longer. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's been an... I wouldn't say it's been a terribly interesting stream. Uh, very little happened for the first hour. And then I made a fool of myself with a with a rubbish chess puzzle, which wasn't even a chess puzzle. But, um, you know, it's been... It's a weird game. Uh, and I don't mean weird in the sense of, you know, all of this sort of stuff. I mean, just... I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Because in some ways I'm kind of... I'm kind of enjoying it. I do quite like the music and stuff. That's that is quite good, and some of the dialogue has been pretty funny. But it has aged really badly in terms of um, how it looks, the movement, that kind of stuff. But no, Ooh. I'm going to keep going because it is interesting, and um, I'll be back next Friday. Um, our next stream is on Saturday, uh, where well, it should be it should be tomorrow because. Uh, Sean and Matt and I are planning to play Anthem if it's working, um, seeing as Xbox Live seems to be having problems and you know, PSN etc because of Anthem. Um, and then Matt will be on uh, for Bloodborne on Sunday, so that will be the next one after that. And then Sean on Tuesday, so that's pretty good. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you anybody for watching, I uh, appreciate it, and um, I'll see you next week for episode 3. That's episode two, but it'd be episode three. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, and uh, take care. Right, how do I close this?